Welcome, year 10 students. We're carrying on doing a little bit of gap filling, looking into the areas that we had trouble with in the exams and tests. And one of those areas was determining the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Well, first of all, what is a quadratic sequence? Well, a quadratic sequence is one that is defined by something with an n squared as the highest term in it. So n squared plus 5n plus 4 or something like that. Okay, so not a, an arithmetic sequence, but a quadratic sequence. So it's going to be based on what you know about quadratics. Now, I've got four up here today, and we're going to work our way through them. I'm going to remind you of the method that we use. So what I tend to do is find the difference. So this is a first difference here. Oh, no, sorry, it's not. We want to, we want to write our first difference here. So going from here to here is zero. So this is first diff. Maybe I'll move it over a little bit more. So we've got a first difference of 0, followed by 2, followed by 4, followed by 6. And you can see that the uh, second difference, therefore, is 2, 2, 2. And if we go back, well, it'll be 2 here. So this means that this would be minus 2, which means we will probably uh, be at 5 here. But I've made a hash up of that. Let's just do that again. That'll be 5. So it'll be the nth term is, uh, the 0 term is 5. Now, what we do here is our second difference is equal to 2 times a. And you might be thinking, what the heck's a? Well, in a quadratic, we have a x squared plus, sorry, and we're going to use n instead of x because it's a series, n series, plus bx plus c. So 2a is equal to your second difference. And that tells us that a is equal to 1. Right, so that's that one. Then we look at this difference here, the, the first first difference, okay? The first first difference. And we say that A plus B equals the first first difference. Now we know that A is 1. And therefore we can find that B is equal to negative 3. The final thing we do is we take this zero term and we say that c is equal to that zero term. Now, we can put that all together. Therefore, our series is an n squared because we don't need to put a 1 in front of the n if it's 1 n squared. Minus, now b is 3, so this b is minus 3, so it's minus 3 n and then plus 5 for C. And that is our first series. Let's apply the same logic again. So we're going to do our first difference. And then we'll do our second difference. And see where we get to. Well, that's 13. Now the difference between 42 and uh, 25 was at uh, 30. Uh, so 5. Is it 17? I think it's 17. And then... Uh, the difference between 42 and 63, well, uh, 42 to 62 would be 20. So this is, I think, 21. And then from here to here, uh, 25. Which means that our second uh, differences are all 4. 4. And 4. Now... What we're going to do is do some extension backwards. Well, obviously you know that the second difference is 4 each time, which means that this number here, uh, the difference, the first, the first, first difference um, is going to be, what is the first, first difference going to be? Instead of 13, it will be 9, which means that this number uh, must be 
3, because 3 plus 9 is 12. Okay, now we're ready to go. We're going to take this, and we know that 2a is equal to 4 in this case, so a is equal to 2. The second thing we know is this bit here, the first, first difference. a plus b is equal to the first, first difference. So 2 plus b is equal to 9, so b must be equal to 7. And finally, this zero term here is equal to C. And therefore, we can now write out our quadratic uh, series. It should be 2, because A is 2, 2N squared plus BN, now plus 7N, and then plus C, which is plus 3. Now let us try the next one down here and again I might just move it over a little bit a wee bit and down a bit okay so we've got our first difference and then we want to find our second difference that's 16 uh, that's 22 uh, what's that? 30, 28. And that's uh, 34. Now we look at our second difference. Well, it looks to me to be going up in sixes. Yes. Okay. So going back, um, this would be, we go back six here. Now our first, first difference, therefore, going from here to here, this must be a 10. And that means that our original zero term is 4. It's a dodgy looking 4. It's even worse. Let's fix that up. Okay. Now remember the rule. The second difference is equal to 2a. So 2a is equal to 6. And therefore a is equal to 3. Remember that the first first difference is equal to a plus b. So a plus b is 10, which means 3 plus b is equal to 10, which means that b is equal to 7. And finally, the zero term here is equal to c. Now we are ready to write the formula of the nth term. a is 3, so it's 3n squared, b is 7, plus 7n, c is 4, it's 4. Uh, so remember our general formula is an plus bn, an squared plus bn plus c. Okay, that's what we're... Okily dokily, I've got one more for you. And then you've got practice in your textbook, nine questions. First diff, second diff. What's our first diff? Well, we've gone from minus 10 to 0, which is 10. And then from 0 to 12, uh, 12 which is 12. 12 to uh, 26, which is 14. And 26 to 42, which is uh, 16. Then we look at our differences between these, and you can see that they're all 2, which is nice. We go back to this one here. Uh, so that would be also 2. And the first, first difference must therefore be 8. Um, and then going that way, our zero term. Um, if we've gone up 8 to minus 10, um, that should be negative 18. Negative 18 plus 8 is minus 10. And now we're ready to go. We know that our 2a is equal to the second difference, so a is equal to 1. Furthermore, we know that the first first difference is equal to a plus b. And since a is 1, Oh look, we've got another uh, we've got another b equals seven. I did not plan this very well. Never mind. And then c is equal to this zero term here minus eighteen. So we can finish off by writing the nth term of this series would be uh, n squared 
oh man, n squared plus 7n minus 18. And that would be our nth term. Now you can always check using the table mode on your calculator. I think for you, you go into uh, mode, and it will be, I think it's, my calculator is different, I've got it 7, but I think it's number 3. And you just type in the equation that you've got, like, um, instead of n's, you're just going to use x because the calculator has x's. So you go x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals, and then it will ask you a question. It will go, uh, hang on, what will it say? Um, it will say, so you put in the a, b, and c values, and then it will say x1 equals, and you put in, um, hang on, no, that's not table mode, I'm on the wrong mode. Okay, you, you type in your formula, and then you it will say start, question mark, and you want to start at 1, and then you go end, uh, question mark, and you, you go up to maybe like 5 or so, equals, and then it will say step, question mark, and then you, you want to step up one at a time, one integer at a time, so you just go 1, and then it should spit out a table, and the fx values should be equal to um, the values of the series. Um, I'm pretty sure we've done this before, so it shouldn't be too new to you. Okay, well hopefully that's a good refresher for how to find the nth term of a quadratic series. Alright team, good luck. Let me uh, know if you have any questions, do email me. Happy to help. God bless.